Hi Church, welcome to our devotions for this week. We're so glad you've been journeying with us. I'm excited to present our first devotion of this week um, called What Money Can't Buy. Um, If you have your Bibles, turn to 1 Peter 1 and you can journey with us. Joy is something that this whole world is hungry for. We we see how marketing companies uh, sell the product of joy. If you buy this hand cream, you'll find joy. Buy this car and you'll be happy. Wear this dress, go to this restaurant, buy, 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 and you will have joy. Everybody wants joy, but can people actually deliver joy? The Bible is full of this topic of joy and the reality is is that our Father, our God, wants us as His children to have access to this deeply rooted joy in our lives. We find in the passage of 1 Peter 1 verse 7 and it says this, These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes, even though refined by fire, may result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Peter in this passage is speaking to believers. He's speaking to Christians who've actually been exiled. He's speaking to people that have been removed from their possessions, that have been removed from their cities, from their families. Yet what has not been removed is this joy that they have. Why is it that they still have this joy? What is the source of this joy that they carry on? And the answer is Jesus. The fact is that people couldn't take their Jesus, so they couldn't take their joy. Church, if we do not find our joy in God and in Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit, then we're at risk of actually having contingent joy take over our courageous joy. See, contingent joy is based on circumstance. It says to have this house, you will be happy. To have this thing, you will be happy. Contingent joy is always based on circumstances. But the problem with that is that we can't control circumstances. So what happens when circumstances don't go our way is that our joy remains empty. Courageous joy, however, is joy founded and rooted in the belief that Jesus Christ is our Savior and that God is in control and Jesus is on the throne. Courageous joy strengthens us. You think about as a young person putting your hope in this contingent joy, going, oh, I'll just get a a job and then I'll be happy. Or if I just get a car and be able to drive around and have some freedom from my family, then I'll be happy. Or if I just get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, then I'll be happy. Or maybe I just need to get married and then I'll be happy. Or maybe I just need to buy a boat and then I'll be happy. And then I need a mansion, so then I'll be happy. And at the end of your life, if that is where your joy has been placed, you will have been on a roller coaster ride of disappointment and hope gone astray. I encourage you, church, courageous joy actually makes us strong because it's not dependent on you or me. It's not dependent on circumstances we can we can or can't control. It's dependent on God. It's dependent on Jesus Christ. So Be encouraged as we go into this week, as we continue to journey down this road of the unknown, let joy be found in Jesus alone because when they can't take your Jesus, they can't take your joy. Love you, church.